Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how I, um, like, keep my animals warm for winter. Now, my house is heated by a wood-burning stove, so, like, the whole house isn't heated very well. I am on the same level as that, um, the wood burner or whatever, but I don't know. It doesn't really flow into my room very well, so, um, I'll be showing you what I do to keep my animals warm. So, yeah. I live in Ohio. So, obviously, it gets pretty cold during the winter. So, um, this tank's fine. It's, it's heater has a built-in thermometer. So, it always, like, if it gets too cold out here, then it'll, the heater will just stay on, which is really, really nice. Now, um, for the gecko, which I'm not exactly sure where it is right now, but it's in here. And I have this heater. Um, just kind of heats this, like, general area. I also, um... It kind of just heats like my whole room. I might have another one or I might just like move it over here and like take the bed out to also heat my iguana. But right now my iguana has been doing fine and obviously it already has like a, they already have like a heat light. Now for the fish tank, I noticed that the turtles might be getting too cold. So as you can see, they're kind of sitting at the bottom and right now it's not like, yeah, it's not cold at all. But I added this big heater that I have. You. I don't know, the light's kind of bad because I have my plants up there. But um, I added the big heater, and as you can see, the fish are very active. Um, I don't think it's too hot. I think, I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure out that heater because it doesn't have, like, a um, thermometer. As you can see, it's not plugged in because it got really, really hot. I didn't like that, and the fish seemed to be doing fine, but... Um, then I have to figure out that heater, but that is basically it. I, I, um, yeah, basically I just added a heater here and I added a heater there. I might add another one here to keep the iguana warm. The iguana, like last year, acted a lot different. Like once it became summer compared to winter, he like shot up in activity and I'm hoping like, he doesn't go back down in activity this year. Um, I think it should be warm enough in there for him. Again, I have that, which I turns on during the night, and then that for that turns on, obviously, during the day. And this doesn't produce any light. It's a ceramic heat emitter, as you can see. Um, so I've thought about getting one of those for my gecko, but I think that'll be fine because it doesn't need it too hot. So, yeah, I was just going to make this video real quick. Hopefully you enjoyed if you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe, obviously. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, because, you know, just, yeah.